here's how to get the brand new Exalted Harbinger class and some advice on using the class. Let's get right into the video. All right, so first off, this class won't be rare from what I can tell. So you can get it every Deja's birthday, which is March, uh, the month of March at slash join underworld. It'll bring you here. You've probably been here if you're part of the Legion. If you're not part of the Legion, you have to go join the Legion and get some tokens. Uh, there's lots of guys on YouTube and everywhere on the internet on how to get Legion tokens. Uh, you do the quest here, it's pretty simple. The item, the class, is in the merch shop right here. Right here. So there's like, there's a bunch of different classes in here including Legion Doom Knight. I'd recommend getting uh, Harbinger, Doom Knight, N this is good for PP, it's got stun. Harbinger does not have a stun. So that's the difference between the old Soul Cleaver and the new Harbinger. And then we got Classic. Uh, I don't know, I think, I don't know what changed between Classic and this one. I think they buffed this. And then this is just a slightly different version of it, which is kind of weird, but all right. So that's how you get the class if you're curious. Uh, you can also buy it in the shop right now for 2000 adventure coins. I'm pretty sure, yeah. So I wouldn't recommend that because the tokens are so much easier to get. It's really easy to get tokens and yeah, probably not a good idea to buy for ACs, but you can if you really don't want to skip that. If you want to skip all that stuff and you don't want to join the Legion for whatever reason, even though it's cheaper from an AC perspective uh, to join the Legion, but you do have to do a little bit of work. So you can buy for ACs, that's, that's also an option. All right, so a little bit about the class. It is a luck-based class, so you're gonna want a full luck enhancement, weapon cape, uh, class itself, helmet, do it all luck. Um, now for weapon type, the, there's three different types of weapons in this game if you're brand new to Adventure Quest. I, some people ask me to explain it sometimes. So there are damage boost weapons uh, that have boosted damage. So this one has 30%. It goes up to 51% damage boost. That's as high as you can go. Uh, for this class, I wouldn't recommend 50% damage boost. Now, I was using it with the 30% damage boost and actually getting good results. I saw some people online saying that you shouldn't be using damage boost weapons with this class uh, due to the nature of it, but I was okay with it. Now, other than damage boost, you have unstable and stable weapons. So the difference between unstable and a stable weapon, well, that's not really that stable, that's semi-unstable. A stable weapon, a pure stable, is unarmed, uh, which is 234, 234, you're guaranteed to do the same damage every hit. That's what a stable weapon is. And an unstable weapon is you're not guaranteed the damage. The damage can be either zero or a lot of damage, depending on uh, RNG, basically. So what would you use an unstable? But unstables can hit high, a lot higher than uh, stable. That's the reason why you use an unstable, if you want to hit a bigger hit. Now with this class, would I recommend unstable? Uh, definitely not if you want to stay alive. If you want to hit high damage and you don't mind dying and respawning and going back, then I would recommend unstable for you. But if you get kind of annoyed by dying, uh, stable is probably where you want to be at. So I was using a stable 30 damage boost. Most of the time I was using this class and finding it to actually be okay because it'll damage you for more uh, because of the nature of the weapon. So you're getting yourself damaged for more, but you're, so, see I did like 2k damage to me. I wouldn't do that with a pure stable. And there was a chance I did lower damage, but, and I was it alive there. So that was a chance I took and you'll die a lot with this class. So picking your damage range, I would just recommend trying all three different uh, weapons and then picking which one you find to be the best. Now, as far as actually using the class, I don't have that much time using it yet, but I have used it a little bit on and off stream. Uh, I've been testing it out a little bit before recording this video. So basically, the how you get a lot of damage out of this class is keeping your fifth skill up while not dying and, have, and re retaining low HP. So the lower your HP, the higher damage you will deal based on your two skill, which is your main DPS uh, skill right there. Uh, so the lower your health, the higher that uh, skill will hit for and this fifth skill will damage you while giving you 120% damage boost. So you're really rewarded for having lower HP using this class. And that's why like unstable weapons wouldn't be too good because uh, whatever damage that you see, I just did 800 damage to myself. Uh, whatever damage uh, you do is based on your weapon damage range. So maybe having a uh, higher damage weapon isn't a good thing. 
So I know I'm always gonna hit 816 to myself if I'm using pure stable. So I know exactly how much damage I'm gonna deal. So I know exactly when I can use the fifth skill. So having a stable weapon is actually a benefit if you don't wanna die. Uh, now your three skill does have a heal. It uh, drains the life directly from your target soul, dealing damage and heals. So uh, this uh, damage boost only lasts for 10 seconds. So you probably would wanna heal back up and then get uh, reapply the 120% damage boost again. Uh, so you can continue to deal high amounts of damage uh, in between So how I use this class is if I'm already at low HP I you won't hit the fifth skill I'll start off with a three and then that'll heal me up so I can use the fifth skill Then I'll hit the four skill and then the two skill and that will usually kill whatever I'm fighting So I have low HP again, so I'm gonna wait and then my three skill is available So I'm gonna hit that that'll heal me up So now I can hit my fifth skill and it killed me there because the boss did damage uh, if I had my 4th skill available, that would have been better there to pop the 4th skill first. So, uh, because the 4th skill will increase your dodge chance by 90%, making you almost unhittable. Uh, doesn't mean you won't die from a hit, but you're close to being unhittable. So, if I start off with full HP, if I haven't taken a fight, I'll start the fight with the 5th skill, hit the 4, then the 2. Now, I still have 2k health, so I'm going to wait. Just keep spamming 2. And I'm going to wait for it. Okay, so I have 1800 health, so I'm going to hit fifth skill again. Now I'm still at 1000 health, which is a little bit too much still. So I should be able to hit it again, but I'm going to wait. All right, so now I'm going to use the fourth skill, which increased my dodge chance. And I'm a little, this could kill me, probably will. All right, I'm at 43 HP. This is peak performance for this class. Now I want to get my fourth skill up. Oh no, I died from an enemy. That'll happen. Uh, my fourth skill was not up. So hopefully me rambling on about how to use this, uh, the class helped you out a little bit. Uh, I just use it. The best way to know how to use a class is just uh, experience time using it. Just spend time using it if you want to learn how to use it. And eventually you'll figure out the best way to use it. Uh, would I recommend getting this class? For 2,000 Legion tokens, it's definitely a pickup. Uh, for ACs, I wouldn't buy this for ACs personally. But if you're a big fan of... Uh, using a class like this that requires a lot of attention uh, being paid to the game then you could definitely go for this class for 2k AC but I wouldn't recommend that I'd recommend joining the Legion uh, for 1.1k AC and then uh, doing all those quests and getting the tokens required for this class via that method because then you'd always have token farming available for you for items that are being added to the game for tokens uh, much more value in doing that and buying this for ACs. So thanks for watching the video guys. Uh, if you have any more suggestions or uh, little comments about this class that I may have not covered in this video, leave that in the comment section of course. Leave a like on the video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace. Here's how to get in some advice for the brand new exalt, exalted Harbinger class.